So I'm just now going through and editing my uh, video for my fishing today. We got on the fish pretty good. Got uh, probably around 100 something. And we only fished for like four hours maybe. But um, it's like 11 o'clock at night trying to edit this video. I'm just now starting to edit them. Because I was wanting to start at like 8. But um, I just got a computer. I'm editing on that now. And my HP computer didn't have, like there was no audio. So I had to like contact HP for like two hours. So I'm like, just now getting the editing. So hopefully the video turns out good. All of those pretty much GoPro clips, but should still work. Um, they're all decent fish, but yeah, stay tuned. They're in there. So you want something like this? Yeah. I got a little tungsten on. Okay. I just want to see if I can get that pike fired up. I think it left. Where the heck is it at? Oh, there it is. Go back that way. Um, there he is. Double. Double? Yep. Nice. And I saw him on the camera too. You get a carpet and I get one of these guys. Nice. You tell me? Yeah. Oh, you are? Yep. Double! Yep. I got him. <clears throat> I got Woo! Somebody. Monster! There I am. So. <coughs> I got a fish on. Okay. Maybe. I don't. Little girl. Anytime I drag. I'm not wanting to see mess right now. <coughs> I got one right here. Right there. Hold on. He got it right in front of me. I couldn't tell. Nope. Little, little fella. Yeah, you have a lot of perch by you. Yeah. The last time I looked. Go down, buddy. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, they got my soft plastic. Oh, shoot. Without having to walk back to my truck, I guess, I'm going to resort to some other soft plastics has proven itself time and time again on all the lakes up in Minnesota here. There's a fish catching soft plastic. And they're very reasonably priced. Get back over here because good. <clears throat> There's a decent bluegill. Oh, there he is! I found mine. I'm wondering if I should keep some of these. There, there he is. Go. Fish home. Where the heck did they go? There's a bass right there. Oh yeah, this lake is loaded with bass. Wait till you get a bass on that rod like a bait caster. There you go. Is that rod fun or what? Yeah. That's a decent one. Decent gill, yeah. Oh, okay. Bigger buckle. This lake. I wish I could get a camera on this. Get him? Yep. Nice. Little, little, little filler. Yeah. <laughs> they look like the 30 inch freaking perch down there on the camera. Yeah. To where the bigger ones don't. So the small ones are actually eating a lot of the food. Little guy.
about uh, four feet up. Yeah. Yeah. Little tungsten's and wax frame. Get him? Birch. I gotta take off my gloves. I don't think that'll do. They're all right on the bottom, all the little fish, because he's on, he's where the crappies are usually at. Yeah. So they all just move down. You're pretty much like right on top of them where you're at. Perch? Look, he's chasing it. He's chasing your perch? Yeah. He's pretty much straight up right now. Look at him. Battery's getting low. I'll change the battery here soon. On what? The GoPro. Oh. What kind of battery does it take? A uh, special GoPro battery. Ooh. No. But then we just gotta reset up any point. Yeah. Oops. Oh, that pipe came up after this perch. Yeah. It would be sweet if that mount or the tripod came for that camera. Because that How much ice? Uh, twelve to fourteen. Huh? Did you drive all over? I drove out on the first bay. Like the like past the land, like out to the first area. Yeah. Just a little island there? No, no. I haven't driven oh. that far. But there oh. were uh, two other trucks. You just that... offshore then? Yeah. Uh... Not one of... Like I said, I was about 200 yards off each of the landing. Right. But, but like I had a nice little packed down island and shit. Like that's where I was going to try to put my house. But if it's all pretty solid. Not... And there's only... It's all wind blown now. There's no more snow. <laughs> Until he comes back. Yeah, he's gone for right now. You have one coming up over to yours. There's the other one. Screw Vexler, all you need is underwater camera, and it's clear. It makes it look like those fish are huge. <laughs> that was actually not that bad. No. You actually might be bigger than that crap you kept. <laughs> That's pretty sad.
Yep, there he is. There he is. <clears throat> well, there goes one of our problems. Thing is, we can't really film it. <laughs> Going psycho. Yeah, I think you guys snagged. Yeah. I'm gonna have to break it. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh, you nope. got him off. Got him off. We're back. He's not huge. I just only have like six to eight pound test on this, so. Oh, shit. He's nice. He's nicer than what I thought he was. Oh yeah. Four or five pounds. <clears throat> oh frick stepped on the wax ropes. That must be your rod. Oh, is this going crazy? There were uh, two other trucks out here also. Okay. You don't drive a pokey yet. No, no. Not by any means. Not for a while. Yeah. So, but it is what it is. I mean, the spot where we were gonna set up will be only what about 200 yards, maybe at tops. For what? A walk from where? the landing. Out of Tioga. I don't know, I've never been there. Yeah, it's like 200 yards. Okay. So. Yeah, bad. No. No. I guess Tioga is a lot of bridge, though. Yeah. It's a lot of go on. Oh, hold on. <clears throat> he came out of nowhere. They all have good. These are the little ones. Yeah, bigger than the ones you have. All right. Come on. Is that they're probably spawning good, you know? Yeah. It was probably wet. Oh, uh, smaller, smaller than these perches. The waller? Yeah. yeah. So probably about six, seven inches. Okay. Uh, but that's yeah, good. I, if, it, if it wasn't that big, Dan, I would just, just uh, broil it, bake it. I could do that. You know, and then, like I said, um, you know where the white bones, when you feel the fillet, you feel where they're at. Yep. You go above that and peel it away from the fillet, that'll be all boneless then. And then you go below that bone line that you should feel, pull it away, and that'll be all boneless. Really? Yep. I mean, that big a fish, I mean, damn, you get you get three, four people off that one fish, no? Yep. <sighs> Trappies are back. Seems as the ones you already have. Yep. They're, they're like nine inches. Okay. Yeah. Besides, it doesn't hurt this like to take you. No. Oh, frick. This is actually a nice fish. What do you got? I don't know. We're going to figure it out here in a second. It felt nice when I hit him. Oh. It's a crap. It's tangled up on my camera. Oh, yeah. Go get the shower and stuff. All right. Go. Sounds good. Better wake up a little bit. Right. Give me a call when you get off the ice. Sounds good. Alright, bye. Right, bye. Look at that. Something hit him. <clears throat> I gotta worry about fishing here.
Do you want him? Eh, yeah, throw him in. It's a nice one. Look at the problems are showing up. That's bigger than the other ones, actually, I think. Yeah. yeah. Close to maybe a little bit bigger than that. Oh, yeah, he's definitely bigger. Probably about 10. Yeah, this normally the size that we keep. All right, y'all, so that's a wrap for that video. Um, we caught a few fish, I guess. Um, they weren't really huge by any means, but they're fish. Um, I just now finished editing this video, and it's like 2 in the morning. But, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you guys like that type of content and you like the new ice fishing videos, um, leave a comment down below and hit the subscribe button. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.